Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, I'm doing it right. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are at the point where everything is done. So we've got uh, everything sprayed, everything's welded, everything's running. So all we need to do now is put everything back together. So we've got a running scooter. Um, the downside is it's a beautiful day outside today. It's not even that cold to be honest with you. Uh, and we could have gone for a spin, but I think by the time I've done all this, it's going to be pitch black. So a bit of a shame, but hopefully next weekend, maybe we'll have a nice dry day and I will be out and about on the scooter. So we'll see how it goes. So uh, yesterday I popped to a bicycle shop, a bicycle shop, a bike shop, whatever you want to call it. I don't think I've ever called it a bicycle shop or referred to a bike as a bicycle. It's weird, it's strange. Right, so yesterday I went to a bike shop and purchased a really long cable, brake cable, and a really long outer cable casing, something like that. Uh, so we are going to replace the brake cable, hopefully, that little knob. Not the first time I've said that. That little knob is the right one for the brake lever, otherwise it would be very, pretty much a waste of a journey the other yesterday and a waste of £6.99 so we'll see how that goes <coughs> so the idea is today is everything's going to be put back into this, the frame into the cubby hole um, or the engine bay we could have called it that would have been probably better than a cubby hole but it's done now so cubby hole it is I took the pleasure yesterday of spraying up my frame, uh, my fairing, remember we called it a fairing? I went for a, more of a matte black than a matte satin uh, and I wanted to go with a, like a textured style uh, when I sprayed it, so I wanted it to be uh, like textured as you feel it and when you look at it and the, the way I did that was to spray um, the, the fairing holding the can of spray very really far back so I literally, as I was spraying, I was right back here. Um, rather than you, you sort of eight inches to ten inches when you normally when you would normally spray, I was spraying right back. And basically, what was happening, it was kind of dusting as it went on, and it dries almost like like dust on top. Um, I just wanted to go for a different look, really, and I think I'm quite happy with that, really. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, it will probably will scratch it really easy though. Uh, and then our last thing is I made a couple more blink stickers up see that you can't have a cool device without a cool blink sticker on it it's just the law um, so that will be going back on the back of here there so as you can see all my skateboards are blinked up my push bike my bicycle actually is blinked up my car is even blinked up uh, so that will be the last thing we do to the fairing once we put it on and we're happy with where it where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna crack on with this. You're gonna watch me, hopefully, and with any luck everything goes back as it should and works um, as it should. Wish me luck. So this is the frame uh, that our nice friend Dave managed to weld a bracket on. Uh, I've sprayed it all up and it looks pretty cool. Um, decent bit of welding if I do say myself. Not that I did it, but it does look good. So there's our caliper that's going on. Uh, these are our bars, our axle. Oh, I'll tell you what we do need to do. We need to drill a hole in the side of this, and that's where our key start's going to go because. Originally, the key start come over this bar here uh, and used to stand on it. The fairing would then go on top, and it would come. And the uh, basically the key start would sit like that on the fairing. It looked pretty cool, but um, we're going to go with drilling a hole through here, and I'm just going to poke it through. Uh, I'm going to poke it through. Pull it up and then that will sit in there nice and neat. So we we'll do that. Let's uh, do that now. 
I keep banging my head because I've got a hat on. I don't always wear a hat. So, we do a pilot hole first. But be careful not to drill into anything. Uh, in wire wise. Wire wise, that's hard to say. So that's our pilot hole done. Say hello to my little friend. This is uh, Scarface. He protects the, uh, the shed from any burglars. Don't want anyone to steal my scooter, do we? I have a sneaky feeling this battery's gonna die. So. Yep. I don't think this is the right tool for the job. No, it's not. Right, so we're gonna have to come back to this. Wheels, handlebars, brake cables, we got our work cards today. This is where I faff around for hours and hours and hours trying to get it on. Ah, you're supposed to tell me to put a chain on first, remember last time? I didn't do it. I'm gonna put a wheel on and that's the wheel off. I'm just gonna go a day. Dirty on the gas. Right, that was fairly easy. So we've got this bottom chain on, dirty, and then, and then we've got our caliper. Can you see this? Do you want to see it? That's probably the question. Is that right? Yeah, no. Here we've got enough juice in there to drill one tiny hole. I must admit, Dave done an awesome job on this bracket. Uh, very clever man. I can't believe how warm it is today. It's lovely. I've been out washing cars and filling the hot tub up. So that'd be nice and toasty by later on. Might even go and have a skinny dip. So what's the time now? The time is 20 to 3. I've got about an hour. No, this ain't gonna get done. Stop it, Russ. Don't rush it. Let's make sure they're nice and tight. Because we need them to stop. Yep, that's on there. So we've put a wheel on and made sure there's a bit of slack in the chain because uh, I think if it's too tight it burns the motor out too quick. So you just want it to have a bit of slack, 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 a bit of slag in it. Everyone that has a bit of slag in their chain. <laughs> uh, so wheel's on, everything's tight, caliper's on. And we might have to adjust it slightly to push that one away because it seems to be touching. I'll have to adjust that a little bit. Ooh, a bit of life in it. See if we got enough. You want to make sure that obviously the thing that you want going through it you don't want to drill too too big a hole uh, so you want to just when you get to where you need to be start slowing down and just trying it every now and then oh, get the life out of me scared the shit out of me bruv is that too dark now That's a little bit too tight. I can't get out now. Right, let's just 
take a couple of them off. Like a glove. What film's that from? I think when I do the next build, I'll set up a few cameras so you can actually see what I'm fumbling about with rather than just looking at the side of my head. Right, so that's our key start in. I'm going to lift this up and show you because I think that's pretty cool. So we've now got our charging port there and our key start there and that should uh, okay. start it, stop it and we want it to so there we go nice and tight right and then we've got to put the yellow goes into more plasters on my hand than Michael Jackson by the end of this project. I am a better babysitter than Michael Jackson though. I'll give you that. That's there like so. So that's all the wires connected back up and ready to go. We've got our battery. What I did is I've just got a bit of Velcro on the side of the battery. Uh, the opposite side of the Velcro on the uh, inside of the cubby hole and obviously that will keep my battery from jumping around like a like a nutcase while we're driving and so key start well I put the key oh, it's in the house um, battery is ready to go on motors on If you remember from our previous video, this was a bit of a nightmare getting on and off. So, but well, it should be alright this time, I'm sure. And come out, hopefully, the other side. So they're nice and tight. I like tight things. Right, so this is done. All I need to do now is connect this um, this bar, which I'm gonna have to do down there. So I'm gonna stop this because it's boring as f well. I'm, sitting, I'm gonna stop the video because there's no point you just spending the next 10 minutes looking at my butt, as good as it is. Right, so. Okay guys, right, so I've now put the um, front handlebars on and obviously front wheel with it and connected up the strengthening bar in the middle. Uh, this is actually starting to look like the old screw it used to be, just with a few good upgrades. Uh, we've now got to replace the brake cable, um, which we can do easy enough. He says. Our two knobs are pretty much the same. And doesn't really go in the hole though. So my new knob is slightly bigger than my old knob and it won't go in the hole.
got to stab myself in the face then. Jesus. Needs a little bit more. Right, so that's our new one, and that's our old one. And... We're in. Yes. I'll put my knob in the hole. Yes. So, we can, I've never done this before by the way, uh, otherwise, Jesus Christ, <laughs> I swear this project's going to kill me, golly, just texting my bro, Bruce, So, let's snip that off. It's actually getting a bit cold now. We need to feed this wire through this cable. This is going to be very boring because I can imagine this being very. Look at that wrist action! Oh yeah! Oh my god, this is the most boringest thing in the world to do. Yeah, this is boring me, so it's definitely boring you. Right, it's getting a little bit cold, so I've got. Hoodie, my hoodie on and a nice hot cup of tea. <sighs> nice cup of tea. My battery's died on my light again, which um, so we're just gonna have to go back into the dark ages again and just just do it with the lights we've got. I think I'm gonna have to invest in something a bit better than what I've got. So what we're doing is I've stripped off this wire cable-y thing uh, and we're just going to re-wrap our new brake cable wire in this uh, and then feed it through into our caliper. I think this is going to be as, about as boring as it was when I was taking it off so I'll probably just stop this recording again. So we're just coming to the end of wrapping these cables up with this cable wrap in stuff. I can't, don't know what it's actually called actually. Uh, uh, that was as boring as I thought it would be. So that's now done. We can pop that back in there. So we are happy with that. We're then going to feed these through here. I've just realised I've done something wrong as well. I've fed the cable through into here and I should have measured it all up properly. So what I'm going to probably have to do is unhinge it from there. Pull it out, cut it and put it back in maybe. That should work. Because I ain't unraveling all that again. I'm going to make this hole bigger so these cables can go through. Tea break time. Done it in a one. Big Bertha. That's what that's called. Big Bertha. Can you still see me? It's quite dark, isn't it? I've got to turn this round again. It's getting heavier and heavier now. needs to be as big as the biggest plug which is almost 
So we're going to fade these through one at a time. I think what I'll do is I'll spray a bit of paint on that so it's not bare metal. Done. Then we need to let that dry a little bit, otherwise we just wipe it all off. Okay, through that hole too. And the horn is now redundant because we've got <laughs> I love that, it's great. Gropey the clown. And then we just connect, we're just going to connect the brake up. And so that's done. And then it's just a case of feeding that through here, which I had a previous hole drilled. Just got to find the hole. Don't normally have a problem with that, I must admit. So. Little hole, little hole, where are you? There we are, we've found the hole, which is always fun. Yeah, so that's that, and then this is going to come up here and then into here. So, what we need to do is unclip this because I've stuck it all in before it was ready. Oh, now we're probably not going to be able to get it out, are we? So, actually, yeah, that's what we need to do. So, make sure it's like that. Tell you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that's the right length. Back up here. Can't be built like Arnie by the time I finish this project. And there should be, if I remember right, there should be a hole in this bolt. Aha, there it is. So there's a hole yeah, in the back of this bolt. You should stick your cable through that hole. And then what happens is, is you tighten that and then as you pull your brake, that pulls the brake and you stop. Yeah, it's tight and it's a little bit long, so we're gonna snip this wire. A touch. Dear Stephen, f off Stephen, you little. So if I spin around, pull the brake, get stuck. I'm getting a little bit of drag on the disc and to the caliper, which. Which I need to adjust, I think. It stops when I pull the handbrake. Handbrake. <laughs> it stops when I pull the brake. I'm happy with that. So let's get that up there. Ready to go. So let's stick our bearing on. Our bearings on. This looks wicked. So I'm just going to stick our bolts in. Right, so I've just literally bolted on the fairing, and that is the last thing to do other than stick our Blink 182 sticker to the back. Uh, this has been an awesome little project to be honest with you. I'm well chuffed with what I've achieved um, and how it looks. Uh, the test now is to see whether 
it can go the 10-15 miles distance that I need it to do um, which I hopefully if we get a dry weekend next weekend that'll be my my next goal I'm gonna show you guys what we've done this is our scooter what we've done is we fitted a light sprayed the wheel we've fitted this brake caliper can you see this here we fitted obviously the brake disc brake caliper change the brake cable everything works if you pull that it squeezes a disc which is awesome change the uh, battery pack in so we've got rid of the traditional 12 volt uh, acid filled batteries and we've gone for the lithium uh, 36 volt batteries changed the motor and sprayed it up and I am uh, happy with what we've done so what I'm going to do is just show you this obviously we fit the key start here our power point charging points there so the scooter is now done uh, really chuffed with what we've achieved how it looks looks so much more cooler now is that really a cool word more cooler it looks so much better um, can't wait to take it out for a spin uh, let's see how it, how it road, rides I really hope I get the uh, 15 10 to 15 mile range that I wanted it to do because we only get six this whole thing's been pretty pointless really but I don't think um, I don't think I will I do think I will get the the distance I need so other than sticking the sticker on the back which is going to take all of about two seconds this project is now done thank you guys for watching it's been wicked uh, cool little thing to do rather than see it in front of the telly watching crap basically I've come out here freeze my nuts off had a bit of fun made, uh, made a few people laugh which is always fun and uh, at the end of it I've got a cool little scooter so might even start going to work on it in the near future really chuffed with this actually proper proud moment like a proud dad so this is cool and we got a cool little hornet how can you not like that wicked so thank you guys for watching um, hopefully you'll hang around for the next season where I do up this old scooter so we can see it Jeez, this is one weighs a ton so the next project is to do this piece of gear up um, that's going to be season two first we've got to fix it uh, and then spray it I think I'm going to spray it black and then change the batteries change the motor da -da 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 -da. Mm, there we go as always guys thank you for watching uh, I've had a really good time doing this uh, give us a thumbs up subscribe somewhere down the bottom and I'll catch you in the next one